Hello everyone, welcome to Java for Testers tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about a ternary operator in Java. So we have already seen the operators in the previous tutorial and I have also explained the conditional AND and OR and we mentioned that I'll be covering ternary operator later when we understand the if then else statements. So we have already covered if then else statements and if we go to this if else demo so we have specified you know the condition so if else so if the particular condition is true then it comes and executes this particular block else if the condition is is not evaluated to true then it goes to the else block now ternary operator is uh, the shorthand for if else statement right so simple if else statements can be replaced with the ternary operator and that's what we are going to Learn. So let me create a new class file and I'll explain, I'll uh, first explain the syntax of the ternary operator. So uh, I'll name as ternary operator demo and include the main method. So the first thing to understand is basically the syntax. So the syntax is something like you define the variable, right, and based on the condition. So you specify the condition so within these you know brackets if for example you want to check the you know two numbers so if number one is greater than number two or you know whatever condition that needs to be evaluated if it gets evaluated to true then after that you provide the question mark and if the condition that you have mentioned here in this bracket evaluates to true the expression that you have specified after the question mark will get executed okay so here true expression will get executed if this condition is not evaluated to true if it is say for example evaluated to false then the false condition or the false expression after this you know colon will get executed so here it will say false expression will get evaluated will get executed okay so this is the basic you know syntax of the ternary operator now in the simple you know if else how we used to implement if else if for example i have defined the two numbers so i'll say number one is equal to you know 20 um, and then i have defined another variable number two and associated 40 value 40 to it right now with the if else condition i'll say if and then provide the condition so uh, if number one is greater than number two right so this is the condition that i'm trying to evaluate then uh, you know it comes to this if block and print something so i'll say you know num one is yes yeah, say for example greater than num two okay and then else else uh, print something else so num one is less than num two okay let me change it all right so this is the string that i'm going to print all right okay so if i execute this particular code then you, you will see that because this condition so num1 is greater than, is not greater than number 2 because number 1 is 20 number 2 is 40 so it came to else block and it has printed number 1 is less than number 2 now this is you know a couple of lines of code now with the ternary operator I can use the ternary operator and write the same code or same condition if else condition with using ternary operator in a single line okay so now because I'm evaluating string, okay, so the variable that uh, in which variable I'll be storing, so I'll be storing the um, it into the string variable, right? So because the return or the expression that I'm going to print is the string, right? Here we are printing the string. So that is why I'll be using it in the string variable. So I can say string, say for example, result, uh, I'll name the variable name as a uh, result and then i'll provide the condition so same condition that i have provided into the if block i can provide the same condition there if this condition evaluates to true then print this string right so i can say expression as print this if 
not if that evaluates to false then print another statement and followed by semicolon right now you can see that this whole code if else statement has been you know um, written into one line and now i can simply print the result okay so i can um, you know simply sys out and control space bar to expand the system dot out dot print ln and provide the result here so i'll say control shift f to format the code save it and if i'll run it now this time num1 less than num2 will be printed twice right so if i click on run as and you will see in the first block uh, the first print statement is from the if else the actual if else that we have used and the second one is through the ternary operator where this is the condition that it evaluated now because this condition has been evaluated to to false it has printed this particular statement right now if i comment out this you know piece of code right so i have commented out the if else statement now there is only one ternary operator so only one statement num1 less than num2 will be printed right now the relevance of you know this this variable here say for example here i am printing you know integers say uh, if number one is greater than number two then print one and if number one is not if that this particular condition evaluates to false print two right so these are the integers now these integers don't match with the return type here right because previously we were storing it into the string because we were printing the strings so we have to change it to int right so now it will print one or two because now i am not printing string i am printing the numbers similarly if i want to print you know boolean say true or false then i have to change the you know data type to boolean all right so now it will print false in this case because this condition will be evaluated to false and this is the false expression and the type of the false expression is boolean and that is why you have to store it into the variable of type boolean whatever type is uh, of the expression you are evaluating in this particular ternary operator that's what the variable you have to define and store it into all right so if you run it you will see false got printed in this particular case right so this is you know very basic uh, introduction about you know uh, the ternary operator and how you will use the ternary operator to replace the simple if else statements in java program so that's all about the ternary operator in java hope you like the tutorial thank you very much for watching